So today we're going to be talking about a street photography camera that you probably never heard of and we probably don't talk about and probably never gets used. Hey what is going on guys, this is Leo back here for yet another video and the reason why I'm bringing this topic up and the reason why I want to talk about this particular camera is because number one, it's got a micro four third sensor, number two, it's so tiny. Number three, it has interchangeable lenses. Three amazing reasons why I think this camera is probably worth talking about in terms of street photography. And the camera we're gonna be talking about is the Panasonic GM1. My hands are pretty small. But in comparison, this camera is tiny. I use this to go, when I used to go to concerts and um, you're not allowed to bring a big camera, I used to bring this because I used to use this, whack on a different particular lens and it can go in my pocket and no one would really care and no one would bat an eyelid. But in actuality, I've got a really strong 16 megapixel micro four thirds camera in my pocket. Now just a little bit of backstory on why I decided to do a video about this particular camera. I was actually in the market to pick up a more compact camera like the Ricoh GR3, GR2, those kind of, on the, on the lines of those kind of cameras. Just to have something a bit smaller than my X100 when I do want to go out and do I don't know, go to a fancy restaurant in a suit. For some reason, I've completely forgot I had this camera. And this is the reason why I had this camera, because of how small it is and I can change the lenses. So if I wanted to, I can put on all my pro glass I've got. The, the lens I'm using here on my GH5, I can whack on this and I can use this camera body to take photos or even videos, full HD videos. Now let's talk a little bit about the specs of this camera. And I'm gonna do this all from my mind because I don't need any device to help me find out what the specs are. So the Panasonic GM1 has a 16 megapixel sensor, which is plenty enough for street photography. Trust me, I use a Fuji X100S, which has probably the same amount of megapixels. Way, way plenty enough. Has built-in Wi-Fi, three inch touchscreen on the back. It has a pop-up flash, which comes in handy. And this pop-up flash is really, really good because you can angle it different ways. So it's kind of like the best pop-up flash style you can get. Boop, boop, boop. But yeah, it's especially when you're doing like those street photography candid photos, they're really, really good. There's your little uh, ports there, micro HDMI out and micro USB, and a magnesium alloy shell body. And that was all from my head, that was definitely not read on my phone here. But this packs a punch for being such a small camera. And I think this is why it impresses me, and this is why, this is why I wonder why no one really talks about this camera. There are some cons to this camera, like the battery life is shocking, it's really bad. I don't know whether it's just because I've got an old battery to go in it, but the battery life on here, just by taking photos, is, it's not the greatest. So I generally carry two batteries with me. The reason why I'm um, talking about this camera, the reason why I'm making this video is because the capabilities of this being a cheaper alternative to a street photography camera. So they did come out with a Panasonic GM5, which was the upgrade to this, and it came in with a viewfinder, but by bringing that out, they sacrificed the compact size of it. It is a, still a very small camera, but compared to this, it's quite a big camera. But for a street photography camera, you want to go small and you want it to pack a punch, which is why I always say GM1 is really, really good. Just to show you what I've got on here itself. So I've got the camera and I've got the 14 millimeter Panasonic F2.5 pancake lens. And this is probably the smallest combo you're gonna get with this setup. Um, so this is equivalent to a 28 millimeter lens. So if you're using the Ricoh cameras or any kind of style street photography point and shoot camera, you're generally gonna get a 28 millimeter focal length. I'm aware that this Ricoh has a APS-C sensor inside it, but again, this has the flexibility of being able to change from a 28 and changing it to a 40 millimeter f1.7. And that's it, you've got a 40 millimeter f1.7 micro four thirds camera that you can use for street photography. This can be someone's street photography kit, you know? You got your 40 millimeter lens f1.7, which is kind of you can use for portraits as well. And then you've also got your 28 millimeter f2.5 for your general street photography work. So that can be someone's street photography kit. Personally, that's all you really need. Those two focal lenses I think are perfect for street photography. Sometimes you want to get a bit closer and sometimes you want that nice wide field of view. 
and that's where this comes in handy. Let's talk about prices. So why would you pick this up if you're gonna be spending more on lenses and the camera body? You would think that having to spend things separately would uh, bump the price up. But you can pick up a used Panasonic GM1 from MPB, it's a website in the UK, uh, for 74 pounds. That is a bargain. MPB are a really good website. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just doing you know, the facts. Really good used camera site to pick up any sort of used gear. Definitely worth checking them out. You can pick up this lens for about 90 pounds secondhand on eBay. I picked this up for 70, bargain. And again, like I said before, you can pick this one up secondhand on eBay for about 150 pounds. Another reason why I always say that this is probably a really good deal to get is anyone who's shooting on a Panasonic GH5 or any sort of Panasonic camera for their film work, it all comes in handy. You probably already have these kind of lenses. All you have to do is pick up a body and that's it. You can use the system. You can share the system around. You don't have to worry about lugging out your GH5 to take photos. You can just bring out this little pocket beast and then bring a couple of lenses and you're sorted. So this is why I say this is probably one of the most impressive street photography cameras that no one ever talks about. And it's definitely worth picking up. If you have it already, consider using this one for street photography or any sort of photography. It's a great camera and I was really impressed shooting with it. And another thing I'm really impressed with is the autofocus speed of this camera. The autofocusing on this camera is amazing. For video, it's not the best, but for photos, it's definitely, definitely up there. One of the best you can get. To be fair, I don't know what else to say about it. It's very inexpensive, it's very handy, it's very small. It definitely packs a punch for what it actually is. It's definitely worth picking up. Um, and that's really all I can say about this camera. Just to wrap it up, you can pick up your Panasonic GM1 for £74 second hand, get a 20mm f1.7 for 150 and pick up this 14mm f2.5 for about £80. So you've got a complete street photography camera kit in the palm of your hand and you're spending no more than £300, £300 £350. That's personally, I think it's amazing. I think it's a great value for money. For £300, you're getting two lenses and a camera. And added bonus if you're using the Panasonic system already, then you've already got the whole plethora of lenses that you already got in this. And to make things even funnier, you can actually go ahead and throw, do you know what? I'm gonna show you. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you something that's really, really interesting. Now, if you wanna go to the complete extreme, and I don't recommend really doing this, but the option is there and you can do it if you want. And stick on the smallest lens that you have, the Sigma 18 to 35 art lens that has the uh, Viltrox speed booster on it. But, you can even hold it like that. That's completely doable. It's a bit extreme, it's a bit crazy, but it's doable. It's something that you can do, which is why, again, this camera is definitely worth talking about when it comes to photography. And especially if you're using the Micro Four Thirds system anyway. You have a Blackmagic Pocket 4K and you're using Micro Four Thirds lenses. You can pick up this camera for your photo work, for your shoot photography. But again, this is super extreme. I'm not gonna go out there and say, this is the camera you need to buy, but it's an option. We're quite lucky to have a plethora of options for us. There's no one camera that can do everything. You can pick and choose and tailor make it to how we enjoy shooting. Worth pick one of these up? I personally say yes. I think it's great value for its money, and especially if you're using the Micro Four Thirds system, it's definitely an easy investment just to pick up the body and you already got your lenses sorted. So that's a quick review of the Panasonic GM1. Is it useful to you? Is this something that you are interested in picking up? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any other ideas for different types of street photography cameras, pop them in the description below. Let's have a conversation about it. So guys, that is all I got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know anyone that could benefit from watching this video also, consider sharing it to them. If you enjoy the content that I'm bringing to you, consider subscribing to see more because I bring out videos every week. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that notification bell, smashing it if you want to, because it is the coolest thing to do. And that's it guys. So as always, keep creating, keep doing what you love, Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.